Okay, I'm shooting the video. Um, getting getting triggered. Um, I mean, I have uh, I have several addictions like uh, food addiction uh, and, and others as well. But um, the the thing with those is that if they're they're great in the sense that they give a vulnerability <clears throat> to always work your spiritual stuff not to go back there. Because it's like opening the doorway to a lower level of consciousness where you let the, um, the lower attitudes reign. So it's always trying to keep your vibration up. If those things happen nowadays, um, where let's say I was placed in a situation which is very intense of a low vibration, uh, like a packed situation, and I couldn't escape for an hour or two, it would be then, the main thing would be then to, um, I'd go to many de uh, default practices, depending on which one would be the best. So let's say I'm in a, in a situation surrounded by low, low vibration people and I'm stuck in there and I can't get out. Uh, and uh, they seem to be uh, irritating. Then I might use, okay, I might, if I, uh, if I feel inspired, I might uh, do the observer. So it's like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm getting triggered. Uh, these people are doing this and that. I can't get out of the situation. I'm stuck here. But uh, who's getting triggered? Who's getting triggered? Okay, there's these feelings and these thoughts running around and they're getting quite frantic. Okay, so let the thoughts be frantic. Let the feelings be intense. But is there an observer? Is there an observer? of the thoughts and the feelings and this whole situation. Is there something here that wit is witnessing it all? And then it would be like, okay, just to keep repeating that, you know, is, is there an observer here? Is there an observer of the feelings, the thoughts, the whole situation? Okay, something's feeling trapped, something's getting angry. Okay, but is there an observer of this? So I keep doing that and then trying to get the sense of the observer and then dwell in the observer. Often if, if what happens for me is like if I'm stuck in the, in the thoughts and the feelings and the situation and it's become claustrophobic, is um, I'll just uh, keep doing the observer because sometimes what happens is the miracle suddenly happens and it's like the whole thing bursts and uh, everything's let go of. And suddenly one is in the observer and one isn't in the situation. But until it's like, I know as long as I identify and I'm stuck in the personal me and the personal feelings and the personal situation, it's like it's going to be very, very difficult. So I need, I need the, the observer. So that's one thing. The other thing, if, if I can't access the observer because the thoughts are too, shall we say, loud, the feelings are too loud or whatever it is, then um, it's to do a prayer. Uh, what I do is what I call, I, I call it, uh, I don't call it, call it, I call it like, you know, I do call it praying like your ass is on fire. So uh, <coughs> that's the best way I can say it. It's like, you know, ego, to give your ego time to think. Yeah, what I found is if you do prayer, that, you know, like the Lord's Prayer, or whatever it is, um, and I love the Lord's Prayer, but I uh, had lots of miracles with that. But you, you say it so fast, I mean, you know, uh, even 100 miles, say 200 miles an hour, you say it so fast that it's not actually possible to think. And you just, all, all the attention goes just to saying the prayer. It's like the whole world zones out. And it's saying the prayer faster and faster and faster. And what it does, uh, eventually always a miracle happens. Sometimes it might take 20 minutes or so. At a certain time, the level of consciousness jumps and you're out of the situation. Some kind of miracle will happen, either in the world or in oneself. Always there's been guaranteed a miracle. Uh, so that's another thing that could be done uh, with it. You know, uh, you can pray. Uh, those are the two things I do if I'm in a really intense situation. And when you're not in intense situations and you're out of them, then it would be uh, and you're more relaxed and it's like praying for intuitive guidance. You know, do I go out of my way to avoid this situation that I can't handle them, or you know, uh, or um, do I um, 
you know, what what is the current thing? Or otherwise, the thing to do is when you're out of the situations, not necessarily in them, is to do this, what I call is, um, the best way to call it is to see what happened and then to cancel or to pray for all those components that triggered you to be removed before the next time you go in. And then you get, what you get is like, well, I don't like being stuck in a crowd for one and a half hours and be trapped. Well, then you, I do the work, cancelling my beliefs and everything. You know, um, a, a crowded space full of negative people doesn't have the power to pull, pull the infinite into it. It's only because there's some, some belief systems that mean if I'm in a crowded place, I'm locked up and people are going mad around me, I have to lose the infinite. So I'd have to cancel that because obviously it's a strong belief that it pulled me in the last time. So next time I'll be like doing all the work to be prepared for the next time I'm in those situations. And then if those beliefs are fully eradicated or half eradicated, they'll be a much, well, I'll have a much easier time of transcending that situation. So that's the type of, uh, that's the, I mean, the emergency stuff is when I'm in it and I'm getting triggered, then it's either fast prayer so fast that it's like it takes everything in you and you just say it fast and fast. There's no time to think or get absorbed in anything else. It's just the prayer. And then you, suddenly, always for me, a miracle happens or it's just going to the observer and they're going, okay, I'm triggered. Well, is there an observer of the eye? There's lots of fear here. I'm suffering the fear. It's like terror, it's panic, can't breathe. Well, is there an observer of this? You know, uh, I need, you know, Whatever it is, there's lots of thoughts going on here and they're pulling me in, but is there an observer of these thoughts? And then eventually it's like, it's like, you know, detach, let go of identification, let go of identification of the story. And there is, there is an observer, even in the most horrible situations that is not identified with anything that's going on. And sometimes by invoking that, by doing the observer, uh, then it comes. And then suddenly there's suddenly like a miracle, there's detachment. There is an observer here that's not trapped, that is not being attacked by people, that is not suffering panicking thoughts and panicking feelings. And I am the observer. The observer is what I am. This other stuff is not. There's suddenly a clear seeing. So it just depends on um, letting go of that identification. To, to Sometimes it can't be done and then you have to do another route, like fast prayer. I pray like my ass is on fire. What I find is like it's the option. What's happening there is if I think, it usually gets worse. And if I'm just saying something like the Lord's Prayer or I pray for a miracle or, God, you know, God help me or whatever it is, and just that, then it does help. And that help comes. It's like, it's like what is doing, you know, almost like getting the vibration of the divine, matching the vibration. The words are at the level of the divine, at the infinite. So they pull you into the infinite. Whereas thinking is a, is a, is a very low level of consciousness, it's not going to get you out of there. It's only going to make things worse. 